dear students today i am going to explain how to create vlan in cisco packet tracer so already we have discussed few videos about how to create local area network using cisco packet tracer today i am going to explain how to create virtual local area network it's called as vlan in cisco packet tracer we have few major difference between local area network and the virtual local area network i will show you how it exactly works and what kind of the difference you can find through the lan and vlan so today i am going to use four pc and one switch to create your virtual lan connection it's a start from pc0 pc1 pc2 and pc3 and for switch you can use any one of the switch today i am going to use pt switch to create vlan to connect with the pc to a switch i am going to use copper straight line through to connect with the pc to a switch just you click on the icon and select copper straight line through then you have to choose fast ethernet and you make sure that what's the fast ethernet you are going to connect with the pc to switch so either 0/1 or 1/1 or 2/1 so that uh, the the fast ethernet it's very much important in vlan connection so it takes a few seconds to get the connections initially it shows that orange color now it short time it will be become the green color and you can do that the remaining connections so at the meantime i am going to create your label what kind of ip address we are going to set for each pc it's a start from 10.1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 and 1.4 today i am going to use the class a ip address for all the four pcs to create your virtual lan connection okay so once we can set that ip address for all the pc and is oh, i am sorry so before we set that ip address we cannot communicate with either any of the pc so just you click on the pc0 and go to ip address and set that ip address for pc0 it's 10.1.1 the default that is the subnet mask it's 255.0.0.0 okay the same way you have to do that the ip address for all the remaining three pcs that ip v4 address is 10.1.2 1.3 and 1.4 even uh, the students you can set that ip address through the cli command for pc3 it's 10.1.1.4 okay now all the ip address we set for all the four pcs now i am going to check how the connection is works is yes, when i try to connect with pc0 to pc1 the connection is successful the same way i am going to check pc1 to pc3 now the connection is successful the same the connection i am going to check with the simulation window i will show you how it works the first message i set for pc0 to pc1 the second message i set from pc1 to pc3 okay so both message it's sent successfully and receives the acknowledgement okay we got the acknowledgement successfully so as of now i shown how that local area it's working it's not the vlan connection as of now the connection it's works as a lan connection the same command the same way i am going to show you using the ping command i am going to check for pc0 going to connect with uh, pc uh, that is uh, 2 10.1.2 we got the response right 
the same way just i am going to check for p from pc 2 to that is pc 1 sorry pc 0 we got the response okay now the local area connection is successfully executed now i am going to show you how vlan it works what kind of commands we have to give for vlan connection now first i am going to segregate that the local area connections into two different local area network so the first one pc0 pc1 it act as your one lan and pc2 and pc3 it act as your different lan when i try to implement the virtual lan connection i am not supposed to send the message from first network to second network now i am going to use the name as the home pc and office pc and uh, what kind of the lan i am going to use it today here vlan 1 by default we have to use it for switch 0 it's already existing switch vlan 2 it's for one network and vlan 3 it's for second network okay just for our understanding just i am going to use the simple term the vlan 2 it's going to be the part of a home pc and vlan 3 i am going to mention is office pc so here when i try to send the message from home pc to office pc or office pc to home pc it will not successful so that's it's a concept of vlan without vlan if it is act as a simple lan connection you can transmit the data from any of the pc once the vlan connection is configured we are not supposed to send the message from either home pc to office pc or office pc to home pc so i will show you using the cli command how it works or how we how to create the vlan connection just you mention enable and put config t now i am going to give you the the name of the pc so vlan 2 its name is home pc and give So the second one we are going to set for office PC just to exit the command and give it's a VLAN 3. The name of the VLAN 3 is it's office PC. It's very simple command just you can easily understand that how to create the VLAN in Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay just you exit. So as of now we gave that the VLAN 2 as a home PC. VLAN 3 is a office PC. Next step we have to configure uh, the command the home pc and office pc so first i am going to set the the command for vlan 2 just using the interface command interface first ethernet 0 slash 1 so this 0 slash 1 it's for the command for pc 0 and to connect with the switch switch port access is vlan 2 so just you look at the the screen the green color now it's changed as orange color the vlan 2 its background is running now the second one first uh, that is interface to first ethernet 1 slash 1 so 1 slash 1 the command is it's for pc 1 and a switch port the same command access vlan 2 so as of now what i said for vlan 2 PC0 first ethernet 0 slash 1, PC1 the first ethernet is 1 slash 1, both PC0 and PC1 set for VLAN2. The same way you have to do it for office PC. Now interface first ethernet 2 slash 1, it denotes that PC2, it belongs to VLAN3, it's not VLAN2, right? It's very simple command. Then the interface first ethernet a uh, 3 slash 1 so maybe your system it may be reflects some kind of other numbers in your the uh, that is the first ethernet just you look at the first ethernet number carefully then you give the command okay 
now all the command is over so as of now we use the enable command and config command and we gave the two pc names and using the interface command we said that the virtual local area network connection so here once the command is sent it takes quite long time to configure uh, that is vlan so just i pause the video and wait for some times to get the response now i am going to show you uh, the how vlan it works now okay so when i said that the message from pc0 to pc1 it will be successful but as i said earlier when i try to send the message from vlan 2 to vlan 3 it will not successful so what it mean i am going to use the local area network as a virtual lan it means that i am going to create two different networks with the same that is a network when i try to send the message from pc1 to pc3 just you look at that difference what it happens i send the message from pc1 to pc3 but it will not goes to pc3 it simply returns the message from pc0 so even the pc0 it's not the right destination so that's why it shows that uh, uh, that is a red color mark right i will show you the same uh, the connection using the ping command it's a ping 10.1.1 okay the connection is successful so from pc1 to pc0 we got the response so for example from pc1 to pc4 10.1.4 just you look at the difference now yes the request a timed out we cannot send the the data or message from vlan 2 to vlan 3 or vlan 3 to vlan 2 this is the way we can create the local area network and i hope uh, you got the complete information still if you have any queries you can post it in the comment window thank you thanks for watching